My boyfriend's coming to my place for the first time, and I'm scared that my secret obsession is going to scare him away from me. So I never really tell anyone about my lawn gnome obsession because they make fun of me, (laughs) usually to my face. I started dating this guy about three months ago, and I never really took him to my house. I usually travel to see him because it's more convenient for both of our schedules. Recently, he's been asking to go to my place. He said we've been together too long for him to not see it. I'm terrified because my entire house is filled with lawn gnomes. <laughs> I feel protected with my gnomies around. And no, I don't have any mental illness that I'm aware of. It's just something about their cute little faces, but they're everywhere. I even set them up in different scenes throughout the house. Stop. It makes me feel like I'm in a Disney movie. <laughs> I can't hide them even if I wanted to. I don't. What should I do? Because he's coming over this weekend and I'm freaking out my heart i can't she sounds like snow white yeah (laughs) you sound so pure yeah you do and i think that if he doesn't like your garden gnome collection you can dump his ass yeah if he can't accept this then may he never know peace in his life like (laughs) so true (laughs) never know peace in his life no facts do you really want a guy that doesn't like garden gnomes i wouldn't no everyone needs a gnome in their life and you just have many yeah it's it's totally understandable i kind of love that she like cared that much about the guy like that's so cute that she really likes him that much she's like i really don't want to scare him off i I feel like if he really cares about you even if he doesn't like garden gnomes even if he hates garden gnomes he he could still accept you yeah and you deserve that yeah yeah exactly you deserve someone who will accept you and your gnomes yeah you guys are a package deal so and also negotiable yeah if you ever move in with him won't you want to have the gnomes right (laughs) wait what if she like they're not going anywhere what if she never told him about the gnomes and then everything was perfect in their relationship but she just left out this one non-negotiable for her (laughs) and then by the time they were totally in love she was like by the way i have a gnome obsession (laughs) And he's like, I don't like that. It's like, would the gnomes be a deal breaker? For I him? can't imagine. Like, because if like everything's perfect and <laughs> yes. they've been dating, and then she's like, gnomes. Yeah. Would he be like, done? I can't with the gnomes. And then people are asking, why did you guys break up? And it's like, it was the gnomes. <laughs> like that's what you have to say to people about why you why you didn't work out. Wait, like, isn't too it many also gnomes? funny to think about the fact <laughs> that like they're three months in? Like, sure, maybe if he learned about the gnomes now, he would get freaked out. But if you dated for like way longer and you were actually in love, doesn't it seem like certain things like stop mattering? Yeah, as you get yes. like more deep into a relationship. So it would be so funny if like now the gnomes were a deal breaker. But then like if he learned about them like a year in. You'd be like fine with it. I don't know. Maybe I would not funny. die though. I just feel like if he knows you well enough, and then he finds out about the gnomes a year in, he wouldn't be surprised. Wait, that's He'd be true. Like, this like, makes sense. Have you never brought up gnomes? Like, if they're right. that important to you, how do you go right. three months without talking yeah. about them? I I typically bring up gnomes on the first date, and they're exactly. not even that important to me. Maybe sometimes even dress up as one. <laughs> but yes, exactly. Everyone needs to talk about gnomes. Wait, I have a good transition for you. So, on the last episode, we talked about Nomeo and Juliet. The couple called each other Juliet and Romeo because of the girl's obsession with the movie Nomeo and Juliet. So, maybe you ease into it. You ask if you can come over one more time. You say, oh, do you want to watch a movie? You suggest a lighthearted comedy. Right. Nomeo and Juliet. Casual. Yes. He watches it. You don't have to watch the screen. You can watch him the whole time. (laughs) How does he react when the first gnome comes on the screen? Maybe record for later playback as well. Yes, that's a great (laughs) idea. Set up a camera so you don't gaslight yourself later on into thinking Mm -hmm. he had a reaction that he didn't. Mm -hmm. You can analyze his body behavior or what is it called? Body language. Yeah. Yes. I'd say don't be honest. Trick him into figuring out how he feels. Yes. Toxic advice. Go against everything we've said this episode. Trick him. Trick him now. Yes. You need to lock him down before he finds out. Yeah. What if you really liked a guy and then you found out that he had garden gnomes all over his house? (laughs) It's okay. It would be like in that episode of iCarly when she really likes that hot guy, but then she goes over his house and it's filled with Beanie Babies. That's right. I was like, (laughs) what was it that he collected? Yeah. Yeah. Beanie Babies. (laughs) 
That's so I funny. used to think a lot more things were weird than I do now. Yeah. Like, I would have thought a collection of any kind, probably. Not any kind. I don't know. I used to think that, like, the garden gnome thing would be weird, but, like, just because it's not my thing doesn't mean it can't be yours. I support you, and I think that if the guy doesn't love the gnomes as much as you, I feel like you could still make that work, though. Because even if you live together, you could just have, like, the gnomes in one place in your Mm -hmm. room, and then he could have a room that's his, and there's no gnomes. Like, I really feel like this isn't a deal breaker either way, unless he's judgmental. Yeah, which we don't need that. (laughs) Yeah. We don't need that at all. And if that's the case, dump his ass. Just like that. These gnomes that we're talking about are, like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they're like the easiest thing to ha- be a weird collection and to accept like at yeah. least they're not scary Hopefully. you're not harming anyone by collecting these gnomes yeah they're not like taxidermy or something you think taxidermy's weird i don't want to no. shame taxidermy no 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 i don't i'm just saying <laughs> that there is a death involved oh you're right you're right you get yeah you're right a taxidermy figure. i'm like oh i have a lot of taxidermy items no i'm just kidding yeah i, know. I like, like rode for taxidermy real hard just now <laughs> <laughs> no, taxidermy is not weird, but you know. No, but I, I see what you mean. Yeah. It was a living thing. Yeah, it would be like if somebody collected like bones or like teeth. Right. Like it did yes. come from a living thing. A gnome is just like a piece of plastic or porcelain. A figurine. That's like a doll. Yes. That yeah. someone made. It's art. Yeah, it is art. Yeah. Maybe even like they handcrafted it. Yeah. You know, like you're Although, supporting a small business maybe by purchasing it. Now I'm like, you could make that case for taxidermy <laughs> and bones. <laughs> So I'm like, shit. Oh, God. You know what? If you just want to collect anything, just, as long as you don't hurt anyone, yeah. it's fine. Just do it. Just do it, okay? Just collect I something. But, like, what if you collect, like, chainsaws and then you find that out, like, later <laughs> that they're collecting chainsaws? You know what I mean? Like, something that could really scare you. I don't know. Yeah. If, I, don't, I don't know if that'd be a deal breaker. Chainsaws? I'm just saying, like, comparatively, gnomes compared yes. to something else. You're right. Gnomes are so easy to accept. Yes. Because they're just very, like... They're happy. Unproblematic. Yeah, they're unproblematic. Yeah. Problematic. That's the word I've been looking yes. for with the whole taxidermy <laughs> chainsaw. Not that Tangent. chainsaws and taxidermy are inherently problematic. No, don't come for us. They're not... <laughs> they're just... To, compared to gnomes, like, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You, you guys aren't stupid. I'm just, you know... Yeah. <laughs> right? No, in the last episode, I was like, and nobody's going to judge me, right? Because yeah. our listeners... Listeners are kind right. and caring and yes. understanding. No hate. <laughs> Never. Anyway, if my perfect person had a lawn gnome collection and that was the only thing wrong, I'd be like, you know what? Nobody's going to be perfect. Gnome buddy. I'm not perfect either. Gnome buddy. Gnome <laughs> Nobody is perfect, okay? <laughs> Including us, no matter how much we seem like we are. Exactly, I know. <laughs> it's hard to imagine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's going off the rails. That was a good one. Gnomes aren't weird. Case closed. Dismissed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that it just it goes from so serious and I'm just like, you're disrespecting my beliefs. Exactly. And then I'm just like, garden gnomes. Yeah. It's we just cover all of the bases We're here. We're just keeping everyone on their toes. Yes. Never yeah. let them know your next move. Never. You could also, final thought about the gnomes, text him like a picture of a gnome and just be like, isn't this so cute? And if he's like, yes, you'll be like, oh my gosh, yeah, I have a few of them. <laughs> You'll see them when you come over. Yeah. And then you're like, I know this like might come off as weird, maybe. But I just love these gnomes. Tell him why you love them. Yeah. Maybe. I feel like also, if you're passionate about it, you could get him to love the gnomes. Like, mm-hmm. he's probably not anti-gnomes. Right. Even though maybe he just doesn't know he loves them yet. Doesn't maybe, gnome that he loves them. Maybe okay, he doesn't stop. gnome that he loves <laughs> loves them yet. And seeing yours could spark a new passion for exactly. him. He'll be thanking you soon. Yes. And I'm thanking you yeah. gnomes are kind of sick they're cute yeah they're cute okay i'm gonna get one maybe no i'm not yeah. gnome i'm probably not <laughs> but i do always like them yeah yeah they never take away from my happiness they just add to it so that's a great point yeah. that is a good point point. and with that <laughs> we'll wrap it up i love the random tangents at the end i know because i feel like we've just been talking for so long that then we just become unhinged exactly and just i start saying anything i know i was gonna start going off about gnomes staring at you but i was like let's keep this short <laughs> like because that could just open a full other 
yeah. tangent. I was like, no. Okay, I will say it. one more thing. This might open yeah. a full tangent, but when I was little, my parents bought my sister and I these like beautiful dolls that were, I think they were made of porcelain. Mm-hmm. They were like a work of art, like so gorgeous. I just never liked dolls. Yeah. And we had them on shelves in our room. And if you were to just like see one, anywhere you'd be like oh that's beautiful like the little dress it's wearing it's beautiful work of art whatever I hated them and so did my sister (laughs) we thought they were so creepy and scary and we felt like they were staring at us all night we turned them all around to face the wall like they were on like stands and we turned all of them around to face the wall and we would sometimes play with them but we would never put them back on the shelf with the eyes facing down and I remember one time my aunt came over to babysit us and she's like why are all the dolls turned around and facing the wall? And we were like, oh, because we think they stare at us. Said it so dead seriously. And she started hysterically laughing. (laughs) It was so funny. And we were like, don't laugh at us. (laughs) So if I loved a guy and then I found out he had a lot of dolls. You know what? No, I still think that I could get over it as long as they weren't in my bedroom or like in the living room staring at me all the time. But if he had like a little room that was his for his passion then I had mine. I'll keep my gnomes over here. You keep your dolls over there. Right. And we live in harmony. And she sets them up in little scenes. That's cute. So I don't think they're necessarily staring at anyone while they're like watching TV. True. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, OP. Don't worry. Nothing to worry about. You're awesome. Yeah. (laughs) Probably. I wish you all the best of luck. Yes. I feel like all of these OPs just need a friend. Yeah. That's us. Yeah, that's (laughs) us. Yeah.